could have everyone have their seat real quick. This is always the easiest uh, to get everybody settled because you all are citizens of the month so you know exactly what to do. So it's so you make my day easy. Well good morning and welcome to Hampton City Schools Citizen of the Month Luncheon. I am Kelly Goral, the Executive Director of PR Marketing for Hampton City Schools and I am proud to serve as the MC today. If you ask any of the adults in this room, we would all say that this is one of our favorite events of the year because we get the opportunity to celebrate each and every one of you and your hard work. Because let's be honest, sometimes being a good citizen can be hard work. So congratulations for being selected to represent your school as Citizen of the Month. We are honored to recognize you and thank you for your role as a good citizen in our schools and in our community. So before I turn over the mic, there is a quote that I'd like to share from someone I feel that probably most of you are very familiar with, Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss said, you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you choose. So I'm positive that each of you here today has had to make a hard decision at some point in your life, and you've had to use your intelligence and your feet to steer you in the right direction to do the right thing. And that is why you have been selected to represent your school. Because even when others are not looking, you take the right path and make good decisions. And for that, we are very proud of each and every one of you. So it is now my pleasure to introduce our school superintendent, Dr. Jeffrey Smith. So let me start by saying good morning. good morning. Oh great, let's say it one more time. Good morning. good morning. Listen, I want you to know that I always look forward to this opportunity to really celebrate you and all of your many, many accomplishments. Certainly as citizens of the month, you represent the talent and great decision making in all of our schools. Uh, you certainly help us to ensure that our schools are safe and caring places for teachers to teach and for young people to learn. Uh, you were selected based on scholarship, character, the respect and courtesy that you show for others, responsibility, and sportsmanship. Give yourselves a hand for that, please. Indeed, ladies and gentlemen, you are leaders and other students will look to you as models for their behavior. You're the future of Hampton, and our future certainly looks bright. Congratulations on your selection as Citizen of the Month. It is now my honor to recognize the chair of our school board, the Hampton City School Board, and ask that Ms. Ann Cherry, that she would come forward. Please join me as we welcome our school board chairwoman, Chair Cherry to the podium. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Smith, and good morning, everyone. Good morning. On behalf of the school board of Hampton, I just want to say how proud we are of each and every one of you today. And I would like to introduce those members of the school board who were able to be with us today and ask them to stand until I call everyone's name. We have Ms. Martha Mugler. Would you please stand? And also we have Ms. Phyllis Henry. Thank you so much for your attendance today. Also we have our student liaison representative Mr. Jeremy Taylor. We have such great community partners in, this, in Hampton City Schools and in the city of Hampton. Therefore, I'd like to recognize our vice mayor at this time, Mr. James Gray. 
We also have from Hampton City Council, Ms. Linda Curtis. And rounding out our Hampton City Council representatives today is Mr. Stephen Brown. Thank you all. We'd also like to recognize our luncheon sponsors, and we could not do this. This is a very special occasion, and you do not see this in every school division, trust me. We have such great community partners, and the sponsors for today's luncheon, I'd like to recognize them. The Hampton Association of Educational Office Professionals, the Hampton Rose Educators Credit Union. We also have sponsors, Old Point National Bank, longtime sponsors, First Advantage Credit Union, the same, and USI Insurance Services. We want to, on behalf of the board, not only congratulate you, but to say that you are here because you understand the value of doing what is right the value of helping others, and most importantly, the value of being a responsible good citizen, with emphasis on the word responsible. If we could develop, if the board could develop a list of four quotes from good citizens such as yourselves seated here today, it would probably sound something like this. Number one, instead of saying something must be done, good citizens say, I must I must do something. Number two, take responsibility for not only your successes, but for your failures as well. In other words, if you mess up, fess up. Number three, never point a finger where you know you never lent a hand. And the fourth and final one would be to find joy in everything you do. I have a sign on the wall in my kitchen that says, do something every day that makes you happy. Don't let others define what you should do or how you should do it. As a speaker at our academic banquet last night, Kickatan High School graduate Shannon Hepp said so eloquently, make decisions for yourself. And in doing so, you will find a life that is full of hope, that is full of happiness, and that is full of promise. Congratulations again, and now I'd like to call forward to the stage Ms. Susan Thrash from the Hampton Roads Educators Credit Union, one of our sponsors today, to give you some wise words. Ms. Thrash, please help me welcome her. Hopefully they will be wise words. <laughs> On behalf of Hampton Roads Educators Credit Union, I am proud to be here and I congratulate all of you on your great accomplishment. I know you're on a brilliant path to do wonderful things the rest of your lives. Um, the Credit Union also wants to thank Hampton City Schools. We've been a partner for 65 years and um, we just love being a part of all these events and seeing everybody grow up and uh, become accomplished citizens that I know you'll be. So thank you um, for letting us be a part of this and um, have a great lunch and graduation. <laughs> Thank you. We also were expecting Ms. Gustafson from the HAEOP as well as uh, Mr. Greg Snow from USI Insurance Services. Great, please come forward. This is Mr. Greg Snow from USI. Hello everyone, my name is Janice Gustafson and I represent HAEOP, which stands for Hampton Association of Educational Office Professionals. That is a mouthful, but basically I represent a group of secretaries, clerks, office uh, assistants. We're kind of the backbone of the office and so we get to see all the good citizens. And so we would like to say congratulations. Um, we are so happy to be a sponsor and have a great summer. Well, on behalf of USI Insurance Services, um, 
I thought it was impressive. This is our 20th year that we've been working with the schools till I heard the credit union's been here 65, so. Um, I think I have a ways to go, but uh, on behalf of USI, Dr. Smith, uh, members of the board and uh, council members today, Ms. Cherry, uh, thank you very much for your partnership. It's uh, very important to me personally and to USI. Um, and then on to the students. So I always ask this question, who is here for the first time as a student? Wow, that's great. So you all really accomplished something. Hopefully you had some mentors that convinced you to do whatever it took personally for you to be recognized today. So I congratulate you on your first trip. And then who's here for a multiple time or a second time? Awesome. Congratulations today for being here. Those that um, will not be back next year, which would be seniors, uh, which I always appreciate the speeches they're about to give because I think they're amazing people. Uh, but for you that have an opportunity to be here again next year, do whatever it takes to achieve what you need to, to come back. I'll be very happy to be here again next year to congratulate you all. Um, I know you've got a couple weeks before summer, but keep focused over the summer. Keep doing the things that you know you need to do. Um, and again, on behalf of USI, thank you very much for this opportunity. We thank appreciate, you. It. appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And on behalf of the school board, once again, we want to say thank you to our many, many sponsors. Whether you've been with us one year or 65 years, the, dif the difference is this, and I think it's important to point out. These sponsors do not have to do this. These sponsors choose to do this. So let's have a nice round of applause again for all of our sponsors for today's lunch, and thank you. Thank you, Ms. Cherry. And as Ms. Cherry has pointed out, this day would not be possible without our sponsors. So thank you so very much again. We truly appreciate it. Um, now it is time. The best part of the day, which all of you all are probably looking forward to, is the food. So we will come by your tables and let you know when it's time to go ahead and get in that buffet line. And in the meantime, I would ask our school board members, city council members, superintendents, our vows to please step over to here and we will have a quick photo and everybody enjoy their lunch. Hello, my name is Ava Penman. Hello, my name is Amina Kaye. Hello, my name is Duan. Hello, my name is Joshua Gray. And we attend Bassett Elementary. Hello, my name is David Bourne. Hello, my name is Fernando Rosado. Hello, my name is Eliana Blackwell. Hello, my name is Glory McKinney. And, and we attend Armstrong School for the Arts. Hello, my name is Tasha Ann Woodson. Hi, my name is Leah Entz. Hello, my name is Davion Williams. Hello, my name is Cheyenne Davis. Hello, my name is Tila Key. Hello, my name is Alexis Dumbertrip. Hello, my name is Trey D. Moore. Hello, my name is Amari Dunn. And, and we, we are Andrews, Andrews pre K through 8. Hello, my name is Trish Clarington. Hello, my name is William Douglas. Hello, my name is Olivia Jordan. And, and we are Tim Booker Elementary. Hello, my name is Kenny Ramos. Hello, my name is Kira May Lumontis. Hello, my name is Sydney Samarheen. Hello, my name is Hayden Mertz. And, and we, we attend Langley Elementary school. school. Hello, my name is Connor Salai. Hello, my name is Trinity Reese Warner. Hello, my name is Destiny Smith. Hello, my name is Irie Johnson. Hello, my name is Shamaya Parker. And, and we, we attend Sims Middle School. Hello, my name is Mary Miller. Hello, my name is Masih Barami. Hello, my name is Devon Walker. And, and we, we attend, attend Kickinson High School. High school. Good. Hello, my name is Jaden Saxon. Hello, my name is Jenna Major. Hello, my name is Sadie Everett. Hello, my name is Khalil Gakunlo. My name is Max Boozer. Hello, my name is Maya Miller. Hello, my name is Kamari Jones. And, and we attend Phoebus High, High School. School. Hello, my name is Shine Carpenter. Hello, my name is Latifa Barami. Hello, my name is Amaya C. H. And, and we attend Smith Elementary School. Hello, my name is Jamir Barlow, and I go to Bridgeport. Hello, my name is Grayson Roddington. Hello, my name is Gabrielle Smith. Hello, my name is Kylie Allen. 
Hello, my name is Michaela Holkamp. And, and we are to Tampa Elementary. Hello, my name is Mia Shirey. Hello, my name is Joshua Cox. Hello, my name is Amani Shahada. Hello, my name is Sophia Leva. Hello, my name is Amina Jackson. Hello, my name is Aiden Moore. Hello, my name is Caleb Lucas. Hello, my name is Aaron Bunn. Hello, my name is Elizabeth Andrews. And, and we attend Spratly Gifted Center. Hello, my name is Jamaria Miller. Hello, my name is Deanna Hansley. Hello, my name is Noel Adi Jain. Hello, my name is Sarah Ahrens. Hello, my name is Mary Jane Christian. Hello, my name is Sori Murray. And, and we attend Hampton High School. Hello, my name is Chevelle Smith. Hello, my name is Suleiman Fazola. Hello, my name is Brielle Fadbun. And we attend Burbank Elementary School. Hello, my name is Francesca Perez. Hi, my name is Enrique Tafolia. Hello, my name is Ariane Jones. Hello, my name is Jaden Hendrick. And we, and we attend Aberdeen Elementary. Hello, my name is Diego Casillo. Hello, my name is Angel. Hello, my name is Caleb Brown. Hello, my name is Lila Lewis. And we attend Mason Elementary. Hello, my name is Malaysia Taylor. Hello, my name is Christopher Colon. Hello, my name is Xavier Webb. And we attend Ben Elementary School. Hello, my name is Yan Wing. Hello, my name is McCarr Telefero. And, and we, we attend, attend Lizzie Middle School. School. Hello, my name is Lavez Lewis. Hello, my name is Javarian Early. Hello, my name is Camille Brown. Hello, my name is Anaya Blunt. And, and we, we attend Phillips Elementary School. Hello, my name is Elijah Battle. Hello, my name is Kalia Mays. And we attend to Forest Elementary School. Hi, my name is Jesse Roth. Hello, my name is Marquis Ortiz. Hello, my name is Zaria Robinson. Hello, my name is Tamia Walker. And, and we attend to Elementary Hello, my name is Andrew Jones. Hello, my name is Joseph Woods. Hello, my name is Teresita Long. Hello, my name is Trayvon Scrubs. Hello, my name is Sergio Maya. Hello, my name is Charles Zubin. Hello, my name is Anthony Smith. Hello, my name is Joshua Fincher. Hello, my name is Naomi Poe. And we are in Venus, we Hello, my name is Cameron Alswick. Hello, my name is Miracle Harris. Hello, my name is Hannah McFarland. And, and we attend Tucker Cats Elementary School. Hello, my name is Jonathan Braley. Hi, I'm Allison Miller. Hello, my name is Isaiah Tyler. Hello, my name is Deja Pillow. Hello, my name is Christina Ortiz. And we attend Bethel High School. Hey, my name is Kaylin Hobbs. Hello, my name is Robert Stukes. Hello, my name is Justin Kirk. Hello, my name is Hannah Birdsong. Hello, my name is Sasha Courier. Hello, my name is Mason Lee. And we attend John's Magnet Middle School. Hello, my name is Chloe Gowan. Hello, my name is Kazaya Lassner. Hello, my name is Liam Cooper. Hello, my name is Emma Spence. And we attend Asbury Elementary School. Hi, my name is Kimberly Dodd. Hi, my name is Kamaya Gatlin. Hi, my name is Sarah Brown. And we attend Saran Middle School. Hello, my name is Gabriel Arantes. And Rihanna Flatt. Hello, my name is Jason Sheehan. And, and we, we attend Gary Elementary School. Hello, my name is Kalia Tabor. Hello, my name is Jose McCauley. Hello, my name is Brianna Tyndall. Hello, my name is Elijah Williams. And we attend Cooper Elementary Magnet School. Hello, my name is Anna Diaz. Hello, my name is Sarah Graham. Hello, my name is Leilani Feliciano. Hello, my name is Patience Branch. And we attend Eden Middle School. All right, everyone, we're going to go ahead and get started. I hope that you all enjoyed your lunch as much as I did. And I hope you enjoyed those cookies, because I know they are totally gone at our table. So I'm sure that they were wonderful. So we are in for a special treat, even more than just the cookies, as we have a special guests with us here today. And they are our top seniors from our four high schools, earning very high GPAs in their class. For those of you that are not in high school yet, you may not know this, but students that are number one in their class have a special honor of doing a speech at graduation and they are called a valedictorian. If you're number two in your class, you also have the opportunity to have a speech at graduation and you're called a salutatorian. So today we have four special seniors with us 
three valedictorians and someone who's actually just as great but stepping in for the val at their school who was unable to be here with us today. So our first guest is our 2019 valedictorian for Bethel High School, Alex Kwong. Alex, come on up, Alex. All right. And I got to brag on Alex just a little bit before he comes up and shares his words of wisdom with you all. But Alex is graduating with a cumulative grade point average of 4.47. This impressive Bruin is a member of the National Honor Society, Scholastic Bowl, Model United Nations, and the Varsity Soccer Team. He also serves as a soccer referee with the Peninsula Soccer Officials Association and volunteers with the Virginia Living Museum. He was accepted to the University of Virginia and Virginia Tech, and he has decided to attend the University of Virginia in the fall and major in computer science. So Alex, please come forward to be recognized and provide some inspirational remarks. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, congrats on uh, being here, um, for being citizen of the month. Uh, you should be all very proud of this achievement as it shows that you possess traits that set you apart from your classmates and your teachers recognize that. Um, in fact, uh, when I was your age, I was never citizen of the month, so uh, <laughs> you guys are already ahead. Um, yeah, so I applaud you for that. This achievement is an um, important start to your educational path, however, um, it's not just about getting good grades, it's also about um, being a good person, um, a good citizen. Um, so you have to make sure you treat others right. Um, but I'm sure you guys know that since you're here today. Um, I guess just strive to be the person that um, others will look up to. And I hope you all continue um, to be good citizens and congratulations again for your achievements. Thank you. All right, and we do have a small gift for Alex to thank you for coming out today, and congratulations to you. Good luck. Nope. <laughs> and I really like what Alex said as far as it's more than just having good grades. It's about being a good citizen, doing the right thing, and being nice to people and being kind. So very good words of advice. You can go ahead and have a seat, Alex. Thank you so much. All right. For Hampton High School, the number one ranking senior is Chloe Smith. <laughs> Chloe Smith has a grade point average, a cumulative grade point average of 4.63. Chloe's activities include the Peninsula Youth Orchestra, Chrome, Mu Alpha Theta Math National Honor Society, the Science National Honor Society, National Honor Society, Spanish Club, archery, drama, and the Hampton University chapter of Ascend. She also has served in many volunteer capacities. She was accepted to Northeastern University, Case Western Reserve University, Purdue University, the University of Virginia, Virginia Tech, I'm still going, George Mason University, Hofstra University, North Carolina A&T University, Old Dominion University, Rochester Institute of Technology, I might need a glass of water, <clears throat> and the University of Rochester. Chloe has decided to become a Cavalier and attend the University of Virginia in Charlottesville in the fall and major in civil engineering. So let's welcome Chloe as she provides some comments to our honorees. Hello, and congratulations to all of you for being chosen as citizens of the month. You were all chosen for being prime examples of good students and good citizens, so I will not tell you all how you should be acting. Instead, I ask you all to continue being yourselves and to help those around you. My piece of advice is to remember to look out for yourselves. It is very common for people to be so inspired to help others or keep with work that they forget to take care of themselves. This has happened to me and my, some of my classmates. Recently, we were doing reflective presentations about our, about our high school experience. And a common thread was regret over the fact that we overextended ourselves, putting our work and others before our personal needs. We missed out on things like joining new clubs or simply hanging out with friends because of the pressure we put on ourselves. You shouldn't grow up regretting that you didn't live how you wanted to live or express yourself fully. 
Life should be fun and rewarding, so don't forget to step back every now and then and see if you are actually enjoying the life you are living. And once again, congratulations and keep up the good work of being great citizens. Thank you so much. You. Good luck to you. We wish you the best. Good job. Now let's give another round of a hand for, for Chloe. <laughs> All right. Next, we have the class of 2019's valedictorian for Kickatan High School, Miss Mia Wright. All right. So Mia will be graduating with a cumulative grade point average of 4.66. Her activities include the Scholastic Bowl, she is president of Rho Kappa, co-president of the French Club, secretary of Mu Alpha Theta, the National Honor Society, the Kiets, the National English Honor Society, and the National Science Honor Society. She is active in dance as a student as well as an assistant teacher in her church as a member and a nursery volunteer, and as well as in her youth group as a worship leader and member. Mia was accepted to North Carolina State University, the University of Virginia, Virginia Tech, Georgia Tech, Harvey Mudd College, Duke University, Johns Hopkins University, Yale University, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and Harvard University. She has decided to attend Harvard in the fall and major in biomedical engineering. Mia, please come forward to be recognized and provide some encouraging remarks to our guests. Good afternoon. Um, I would like to say thank you so much for the introduction. And um, I would like to say congratulations to all of our honorees today. It is so special to look out and see so many bright young minds going above and beyond to be involved in their school and their community. When I was preparing to speak today, I took some time to think about what citizenship meant to me. And my definition is someone who actively participates in the community, whether that be school or anywhere else, respects the people around them, is informed, and has integrity. From there, I wondered how you would measure good citizenship. I believe that good citizens are measured on how successful they are in building the people up around them and taking the time to lend a hand. As you continue to grow in your success, remember to take a few moments and think about how you can help others succeed as well. And I have one little piece of advice as you go forward in serving others. When you discover the thing or multiple things that you are most passionate about, find service opportunities in that field. And as, uh, as I mentioned, I have been a dancer and this year I decided to ask if I could be an assistant teacher just because I figured I was spending so many hours at the studio, I wanted to help out and be more involved. So they say to do what, um, what you love, and you'll never work a day in your life. I used to think that was just a quote for bumper stickers, but it's completely true. When you volunteer your time and enjoy what you are doing, your excitement will rub off on the people around you. You are all here today because your teachers saw something special in you that goes beyond the classroom. Continue to work hard and never settle. Congratulations on this wonderful achievement. Thank you. And I really liked what Mia said about build up people around you. What a great piece of advice. And we wish you the best of luck. And I hope, like I had mentioned to you before, because we've spoken, that you have a nice warm winter coat to head up north. And we know that you'll do well in everything you do. So congratulations. Thank you. All right. So our Phoebus High School valedictorian is actually Ricky Cordner. He is unable to join us as he is taking an exam right now this morning at the Governor's School. So we'll give him a hall pass because I think that he pretty much had to take an exam. But we have another fantastic student that is going to represent our Phoebus Phantoms and that would be Al Hakeem Dixon. Would Al please come forward? Now Al has a very impressive cumulative GPA of 4.24, and he is third in his class. His activities include National Honor Society, National English Honor Society, Key Club, freshman mentor, as well as participates with community nights. He was accepted to Digpen Institute of Technology, Rochester Institute of Technology, Drexel University, Old Dominion University, and George Mason University. He will be attending Old Dominion Old Dominion University in the fall as a monarch. So Al, please come forward to be recognized and provide some remarks to our citizens of the month.
Sorry about that. <clears throat> um, thank you for the um, introduction. I really appreciate it. Um, so, some may say that I am successful, but to be honest, I don't really feel that way. I think I pretty much underachieve what I've been planning to do. So, sorry about that. <laughs> Um, I want to keep this speech um, short and sweet because I know we all hate speeches. <laughs> um, so I want to talk to you guys about a pointer that really impacted me this year. And this pointer is always have a backup plan. Backup plans may seem kind of stupid at first. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought it was stupid too. But over time and through the school year, I feel like it's the best thing you could have. When I was planning for a college, I wanted to become a game designing student. And I got accepted to all the colleges I wanted to go to, especially the top ones in their program. But sadly, I didn't learn it. The one thing I forgot about, sorry about that, was um, money. Money uh, <laughs> can be a very big issue for you high schoolers when you go try to look for a college. Um, At first, I felt defeated and felt like it wasn't what I wanted. But over time, I learned that college, I mean, well, that the backup plan I had of going to ODU was actually not that bad. But never feel like you want to not strive for your goal, even when it feels defeated. Like, don't be like me <laughs> with the goals. Just let it slide and let your life cruise. Now, I do want to congratulate you guys on being citizens of the month. And since we only got two weeks left, have an amazing summer, guys. <laughs> Well, the one thing I will say is that even though ODU is your backup plan, that is quite an impressive backup plan, and we are all very proud of you, and we are very um, excited to see how well that you're going to do. And congratulations, and thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So as we go ahead and close out today, let's give one more huge round of applause for our graduating seniors and our sponsors. And each one of them had very unique messages for all of you today, and I truly hope that you take something back that next year, you know, when Mr. Snow was up here, he asked how many of you have been here another time, one time, two times, and we had several hands raised in the audience. We would love to see you back next year because we know that you all are wonderful citizens and you represent your school very well. So we're excited for you all to have a great end of the year. Yes, have a good summer, relax a little, and come back and see us again next year. And then shortly what we're going to do is we're going to dismiss our students by bus number. So Ms. Bowers is going to come up and she'll call out your bus number and then you'll line up out front. Don't forget your packets. Your packets include your certificate, a small gift, and there's also actually a schedule in there when this luncheon will air on channel 46. So you get to see yourselves on TV. So congratulations, and again, have a wonderful summer.